Hey everybody, this is Dope 666 Welcome to part two of my DVD collection uh, video. And uh, just like to start off, um, back to business, we've got uh, another movie called Curse of the Devil. It's a Spanish horror film from the 1970s. And a uh, decent storyline, you know. Uh, it's got a decent amount of blood for the time period. And uh, I watched this one of those nights where like I couldn't go to sleep, so I just popped in a bunch of horror films, stayed up all night. And, uh, from what I can remember, maybe I was bored with it, but I finished it, and if I can finish it, you can finish it. It's worth a watch. Sit down and rent it, do what you gotta do. Next up, we have a film called, uh, well, this movie's for anyone that is a fan of the band Lordy, and it's from the Ghost House releases, and, uh, you can't go wrong with those, usually very gory or have a good storyline or whatever, and it's Dark Floors. And this movie doesn't explain itself very much, and at the end you'll be asking a lot of questions like, Why did this happen? But I won't answer you. But it stars the band Lordy as the monsters in the movie. And uh, the storyline is hard to tell, so I'll probably just let you try and figure it out for yourself, because everyone could have different representations of what may be going on. But uh, pick this up. It's a pretty good film. I actually liked it a lot. Next up, we have uh, Day of the Dead, zombie film, spectacular, and many people say if you've seen one zombie film, you've seen them all, and I couldn't agree more. This is your typical zombie film. Lots of gore, lots of blood, lots of brains getting blown out, crazy shit. So if that's what you're looking for, pick this up. Next up, speaking of gore, we have Peter Jackson's film from the 19, very early 1990s, I believe, called Dead Alive. And let me just say, this movie holds the record, world record, for most amount of fake blood used in a movie. And, uh, I don't know, maybe if you've seen it on YouTube before, it has that lawnmower scene where the guy comes in to the house and just mon lawnmowers all those zombies. And very cool film, lots of blood, lots of gore. Very funny, actually. It's a comedy horror, so... I definitely recommend picking up Dead Alive. Next up, we have Dead Silence. And uh, a lot of people didn't like this for some reason. It did... It did have a lot of parts where, like, you were just like, Oh, come on, come on. But at, at the end of the movie, I was very satisfied. And, uh... Good storyline. Good amount of gore. I mean, it wasn't even gory enough to have an unrated release, but nevertheless, uh, worth the watch in my opinion. I recommend Dead Silence. And next up we have a movie from, I believe, the 19... oh, 1965. And it's a movie called Die Monster Die. If you want to get a better look, there's the case. That's the old copy, I believe, Midnight Movies release. And it's about this guy, his wife is basically rotting and turning into a monster. And he tries to kill her and put her out of her misery, but she won't die. Eventually she escapes their restraints and tries to kill everyone. A good, good old school horror movie. I recommend. It's a good throwback. This next one is, uh... Oh, man. I haven't, I haven't seen this one in a while. But, uh, good gory movie. Very good. And it's, uh, Dog Soldiers. If you have not seen this and you love gore, then you have to see this. And if you don't love gore, do not watch this. That's all, that's all I can say. And, uh, moving right along. Uh, this movie was more of an action movie, but it had a good, it's a pretty good zombie movie fill, fill in too. So I want to go ahead and bring it up, and it's Doom. And this is probably the first version of it out. I don't know if there's a new release or anything, but, uh, this is the copy I got, and it's the Unrated Extended Edition. And this is about, basically, zombies breaking loose on a laboratory on Mars, and The Rock, he's in it, he, and basically he's the leader of a military team that goes in to exterminate the zombies and take control of the place, but it doesn't work, and they all end up getting killed and turning into zombies. Very good film. I'd recommend checking it out. This next one I found when uh, the local video store was going out of business, and they were selling cheap movies, so I went in there and checked it out. And uh, 
I found it, and I didn't know what it was. I, I, of course, it was going to be a spider movie, but I didn't know what it would be like. And I checked it out. It was Eight-Legged Freaks and good comedy horror. This, this I actually liked it a lot. I mean, I haven't watched it in a while because I've just been looking up more and more stuff and been kind of busy. I mean, I am in school, you know. But, uh, this was a good one. Good, unique storyline. I mean, like, maybe not unique, but it's a good storyline for a comedy horror. I mean, it's like, you go right along, oh, haha, <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway. Next up, we have Fatal Attraction. Maybe not a horror movie, but a, mm, you could say it's got a lot of elements of horror movies. And this is the I Love, a I Love the 80s releasing. I just picked this up a couple weeks ago and I watched it. And I'd never seen it before. And, wow. Shocking. I liked it a lot, though. Uh, basically about this chick that gets with this guy for a night. And he doesn't want to be with her after. So she tries to kill him. And it's basically as simple as that. But, um, I, I actually really like this movie and, uh, Everyone will tell you they love Fatal Attraction. If they don't, they're freaking retarded. So I recommend picking this up. Uh, next up, I don't know if anyone ever saw this on TV when it was on, but it's uh, the first and only season of uh, Fear Itself. At least I think it's the only season, because it's the only one I ever saw. I think it got canceled right after that. But uh, this is this has all the episodes of uh, season one. Cool little packaging. I mean, it comes out of this and open this up, and it's got the four discs. It's just, they're stacked up on top of each other. And uh, decent packaging. And uh, I don't, I don't know which episode to choose, so I'll let you see if you can find a copy of this. Pretty good series. And uh, the uh, theme is Serge Tankian's "Lie Lie Lie," the song. So if you're a fan of him, you'll you'll love it just right from the beginning. Next up, we have the first Final Destination. I've been meaning to buy all of them. And, uh, what can I say about these films? They're just awesome. Very creative deaths. Very creative gore. You can't go wrong with a good Final Destination film. So, uh, definitely look, look into buying these if you don't have them. Look into checking them out. They're good films. And, uh, this one... Oh, I can just go ahead and bring up all of these now. Basically go into one category, and here's the first one, Friday the 13th, the original, number two, and then I didn't get the older versions of those, of the newer one, or the later ones, so this is the new packaging of the third one, the new packaging of the fourth, etc., fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and then I actually had to repurchase Friday vs. Jason in this pack. But it's the three pack of Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, and Freddy vs. Jason. And you can love them, you can hate them, but you can't stay away from them. Every film I loved. Everyone. Well, maybe not Jason X. That one was pretty retarded. Uh, so uh, that, com that completes this update. I'll get back to you in, thir in part three, uh, basically a quarter of the way through my collection so far. And, uh, alright, see you in uh, part three.